Hi guys, welcome back to Advanced VR Fair, I'm Ben and today I explain you how to play all the PC VR games without having a PC gaming using Plutosphere. First of all, what is Plutosphere? It's a cloud gaming service, just like Google Stadia or GeForce Now. If you don't know what I'm talking about, these services allow you to connect to a server located somewhere in the world, for Italy most of the time is Germany or France, on which you can install your games and play them on any devices, PC or portable, in this case also on Quest 2, without the needing to own a PC gaming. Plutosphere for now is available for everyone and for free in an early access version and give you a certain number of credits that allow you to play a certain number of hours according on how much credit you have in your account. But I show you immediately so you can understand what I'm talking about. First of all, go in the link I'm giving you in the description and it's the page that allow you to enter inside your server or create your account if you still don't have one. The registration process is pretty simple, just put the information required and click on the register button and confirm the creation of your account on the confirmation email you receive. Once you you create a, your account, just access uh, with your uh, informations and you will be redirected inside this page. Here on the upper right you will see your account balance which is the number of credit you have in your account and this is the panel that allows you to manage your server. This is the cost of usage and as you can see is 600 credits for hours. Here there's the status of your machine that right now is off. This is the key to uh, turn on and I suggest you to turn on immediately after you created your account because it could require up to 15 minutes to access. In this moment it's just uh, booting up the system. After the boot it immediately start the connection and as I said before it could require up to 15 minutes. Meanwhile if you don't have side quest, go in the second link you find in the description. Go in the main page of side quests, go to get side quests and download the version for your system. After the download is completed, open side quest. You will be inside the main interface of side quest. So now turn on your headset, connect it to the PC and wait for this little green dot turn on and this means the connection is positive. Once the headset is connected, go up here and search for Plutosphere. Click on the only one result you find and just click on this button to make that the uh, Plutosphere application is directly installed inside the headset. Once the installation process is over, you can now close SideQuest, wear your headset, go inside your library, browse inside unknown sources and you will find Plutosphere client here. At this point you can run it simply by clicking on it and you will find this screen that require to verify that Steam VR is running but before to see this screen when you run first time Plutosphere, you will see a browser window that require you to access again as if you are on a PC. Do the access inside the browser window and once you completed the access you will get a message uh, telling you that it's now possible to run Plutosphere on Quest 2. But it's not time to run it yet because first you have to verify that the access to the server has been done. Now remove your headset and as you can see even if I did all these operations the connection to the server has not been established yet. It's not very clear if this problem is related to the fact that Plutosphere is in early access so maybe there is a kind of queue you have to wait to access or maybe these are the times required to connect to the server but as I said I cannot tell if this is actually a problem or not because we are talking about the early access but it's true that these are the times required when Plutosphere will be at its definitive version then in that case will be a problem because it required too much time to connect and play. So it required almost 9 minutes to connect to the server and as you can see this button here became uh, let's say clickable so just click on it and you will be redirected inside the Plutosphere 
panel. When it opens, it immediately show you the screen where, of course, you have to do the login with your Steam. When you first run Steam for the first time, it will do all the passages, like for example, the first Steam configuration and downloaded installation for DirectX, just like on a PC, because after all, the server is a PC located somewhere else. And once this operation is completed, you will see the uh, main Steam interface. For now, in the early access version, this operation must be done every time you access to the service. Because when you log out from the server, everything you've done, all the games installed, all the application is deleted. So every time you re-access, you have to repeat all the operation from the beginning, including the installation of the games. Okay, at this point, I run a random game, let's say Half-Life Alex, and the installation is running. As I said, this operation must be repeated every time you access the server, so uh, be patient and know that this is a temporary situation because in the 1.0 version of the server, Ludosphere will save all the operation and all the games you saved. While the game is installing, wear again your headset and run the Ludosphere application and if you already did the access on your quest to browser you will be directly inside steam vr otherwise if in the previous passage you did not access you will see first a page where you will require to access to plutosphere account once you did the access on quest 2 uh, for plutosphere you will receive a message to restart the plutosphere application and at this point running the application again you will be inside Steam VR. From this screen you can directly access to your library and of course run the game, in this case Half-Life Alex. And once you start a game, you can also play your previous game, your previous savings, because remember that you are playing with your Steam account. So, the one you are seeing right now is the result. From the video, of course, you cannot understand how you see in the headset, but anyway, you can see, of course, the stuttering and the lag, because we are not talking about a problem related to the hardware, but related to the connection. So it's not stuttering actually, but it's lag. In some part the game run pretty smoothly, but the graphic quality is pretty low, as if you are watching at 720, to understand, and this due to the fact that the bitrate is very low. I don't know if this is temporarily, because uh, it's a measure for the early access version, and then maybe performance will be improved when uh, Plutosphere will be uh, finally released, but for now uh, clarity and quality are really low. This will not be a problem for those who want to just try the uh, PC VR experience. This will not be a problem if it was not for the lag, because you can accept a bit low quality if the compromise is to having the possibility to play PC VR games. You can accept uh, low quality, but you cannot accept this lag that makes your game uh, in some cases a bit unplayable according to your connection, of course, with a very big lag and sometimes even freezing, that completely freeze your screen, and it's uh, any more possible to uh, move freely your hand for short or long period, or even uh, definitely and this require our restart of the service, and so it means, again, you have to reinstall again all the waitings. Waiting times are very, very long, I'm not showing you in this case. Do not make you bore, because this is a, a guide where I'm just showing you the most important passages, but uh, waiting and loading times are very, very long. 
someone of you maybe could say these problems are related to a low connection or a not performing router but I'm using a Wi-Fi 6 router with a 5 gigahertz channel dedicated completely for the Quest 2 I don't have any other devices connected to the 5 gigahertz channel I'm using just the Quest 2 and from the speed test I'm showing you right now you can see the ping is acceptable we are talking about 14 milliseconds the download is about 500 megabytes per second when Pluto Sphere required at least 70 75 and we have almost 100 uh, megabytes per second upload so both down and up are definitely above the minimal parameter required so this means that the problem is not the connection or the router so there must be another reason for this problem maybe the distance from the server or maybe it's the traffic addressed to the server because right now uh, it's Friday it's 15 uh, in the noon so for sure there must be a large traffic that is creating some difficulties drawing the line uh, for now is not a service that I suggest because it's not working as it should be there are many technical difficulties it's a bit hard to configure the distance from the server or the traffic sometimes make the game unplayable even for those user want to just try graphic quality for now it's totally not acceptable overall for those who are used to uh, pc graphic and overall there are all a series of situations for which is not worthy for now using this service as for example among the many things the need of having to redo all the passages again like for example the first steam configuration the installation of all the games that every time are not saved on the server plutosphere could be the solution for all those players who want to play pc vr but they cannot buy a pc gaming but for now is not an actual efficient solution plus consider that for now it's free but in the future will have a cost in more or less one year adding something to this price you will almost reach the cost for a pc gaming it's better you save this money so you can buy later a gaming pc with which you can play every pc game you want okay guys this was the video about plutosphere finally so much required from many of you let me know in the comments below if you success using plutosphere and even for you the service was so uh, low performing thanks for watching the video completely like share subscribe and ring the bell from ben it's all see you to the next one and see ya in vr bye guys Whew. it is dark everything all right Nope, I'm good. I'm good.